Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the first thing to do with your brand new Apple Watch. In this video, we're gonna cover how to set up your Apple Watch and customize it to your needs. Then we're gonna dive into all the basic tips, tricks, and features that are gonna make you feel more than comfortable using your Apple Watch by the end of this video. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, the first thing to do with your brand new Apple Watch. So before we dive into some features to get you started with your smartwatch, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose the orientation of the smartwatch. So what this means is you're gonna to wanna to choose whether you want the watch to be on your left or right wrist. Me personally, I prefer my left wrist but let me show you guys how to set this up. This is the first thing you're gonna to need to do once you get your smartwatch. So you just go to the settings right here on the watch. Then you're gonna scroll down to general and then you're gonna click orientation. So once you click orientation, you're gonna have the option to choose from your left or right wrist. Like I said, I prefer my left one. Then if we scroll down, you're gonna to wanna to choose which side you want the digital crown on. Right now, I have mine on the right side. So in total, looking at this, I'd have my watch on my left wrist with the digital crown on the right side of the Apple Watch. So these are my options in which I prefer. But like I said, this is completely up to you and depending on how you wanna wear that watch. So first set this up, then come back to this video after that. And then you, we can get started on some great features Features to go with your smartwatch. So the next thing we want to do to set up our smartwatch is connect the band to your specific watch. So this can vary depending on the type of watch you have. Me personally and for this video, I have the Apple Watch. So this is a specific way to connect those, but all of them vary, but they are similar. But also there's tons of different bands out there. Some are magnetic, some are Velcro, some are strap-on. But for the sake of this video and the Apple Watch bands I have, I actually have magnetic ones. But regardless of the type of bands, I just wanna show you guys how to set this up on this Apple Watch. So for example, we're gonna take one of our Apple Watch bands right here. They come in two parts. And you're gonna see they have this little button on the Apple Watch right here. You're gonna to wanna to hold that down or press that in. And then all you have to do is it's super easy to slide in your band like this. And then that's the first part of the Apple Watch band. Then the next part, you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hold down this button right here just like this, and then you're gonna to wanna to slide in the other Apple Watch band. So just like this, we have our Apple Watch band connected on our Apple Watch. And to do this, this is a magnetic smartwatch band. And so to connect it to my wrist, it's super easy to do. All I have to do is just flip it over like this. And then basically what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna wrap the bands around my wrist like this and they're magnetic, so they're gonna to stick to one another. And just like that, I have my Apple Watch connected to my wrist. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to disconnect the Apple Watch bands from this Apple Watch. It's very easy and you do it in a similar way to set them up and connect them to your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just unstrap them like this. Then like I said, we have this button right here. All you have to do is just hold that down and just slide the Apple Watch band out like that. Super easy, they come right out. But like I said, each smartwatch is different and you guys can have different connectivity with your certain bands. Like they can be Velcro, magnetic, strap on, but this is the way to do it for this Apple Watch with this magnetic band. So once you guys have your orientation and your band set up on your smartwatch, I kind of want to walk you guys through the physical features of this specific smartwatch, which is the Apple Watch Series 7. So if you are looking at the Apple Watch right now, you're going to see the back of it has this MagSafe area right here, which actually allows you to charge the Apple Watch with the charger it comes with. I have that right here. All you have to do is just plug it into an outlet and just simply place it on this. Then once you plug it into the outlet, it'll start charging. It charges super fast. So you guys are going to be able to use your Apple Watch very quickly after charging. I'm pretty sure eight minutes of charging allows for eight hours of Apple Watch use, which is an incredible ratio for charging and usage of this Apple Watch. So definitely when you need to charge that Apple Watch, all you have to do is just stick it to this charger right here and you will be good to go with charging that Apple Watch. Um, like I said, other smart watches have similar ways to charge it, but they are all very similar to one another. Also on this Apple Watch Series 7, we have the digital crown right here. And what this essentially does is allows you to navigate through your Apple Watch. So all you have to do to get into your Apple Watch from the watch face right here is just click the digital crown right here. And you're going to see it's going to take you to the home screen for your Apple Watch. And to navigate or zoom in or zoom out, all you have to do is just scroll like this on the digital crown. And you're going to see that you can zoom into any of these apps of your choice. So for example, if we want to zoom in right here, on calendar, all I have to do is just scroll in like this. It's gonna take me specifically to the calendar app. Then if I wanna exit out of that, all I have to do is just press the digital crown again. It's gonna take me right back to the homepage. There's also other features you can use with the digital crown. 
I'm going to be showing you guys how to use these throughout the video, but this is just to get you started with your Apple Watch or your smartwatch with this digital crown. And then in addition to the digital crown, we also have this power button right here. So by clicking this power button on the side, it's going to take you to all of your recent apps that you have opened on your Apple Watch. You can scroll through them and see which ones you want to clear or which ones you want to utilize. And then also with the power button on the side, if you hold it down like this, you're going to be able to shut off your Apple Watch power off so you won't have to save any data or energy while using it. So if you want to shut that off, all you have to do is just hold down that power button and you'll be able to shut off your Apple Watch like this. But these are some physical features. I'm going to walk you guys through more of these as we go throughout the video. But these are just a few ways to get started with your smartwatch. Another feature for the Apple Watch Series 7 power button, which is located right here, like I showed you guys, if you double click it like this, it's going to take you to an Apple Cash page right here where you can actually pay with your Apple Card if you have that. As you can see, I have an insufficient balance. I have $0 in that because I do not have my Apple Pay set up nor do I have my Apple Cash set up. But if you did and you want to use that to spend or buy a product, all you have to do is just double click and it's going to take you to this Apple Cash card right here just by double clicking that power button and you guys are going to have access to that right away. And this is one way to use the power button. So if you want to set up Apple Cash to use your Apple Watch with that, I definitely recommend doing so. I actually have to set that up. But this is a great and efficient way to pay for things without having to pull out your phone or your cards. You can do it directly through your Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch or any Apple product. I'm sure that you guys are aware that you can also use Siri on any of these Apple devices. Siri is a universal feature for all Apple products and it comes in very handy on your Apple Watch. I want to show you guys how to access that and you guys actually can access Siri through the digital crown like I previously showed you guys on this Apple Watch. It is super easy to do. All you have to do is just say you're in the app section for your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just hold down the digital crown like this and then Siri will pop up. You can say, hey Siri, show me the weather. And she'll show me the weather like that. And then you guys can ask her anything to get any information right at your fingertips or any data that you need. Siri is very helpful when it comes to using Apple products, especially when you have your Apple Watch right under your wrist and you need to get some information quickly. Siri is the way to go. And like I said, easy way to access her by just holding down that digital crown and you'll have it right at your fingertips on your Apple Watch Series 7. Right now we're looking at the face of the watch for your Apple Watch Series 7. As you can see, I have the specific design for my Apple Watch's face. But like I said, you guys can actually change this directly on your Apple Watch's homepage just by editing it right here. And I want to show you guys how to do that. All you have to do is just hold down your watch face like this. And it's going to back out or zoom out like this. And it's going to show you the options that you already have set up. And if you haven't set up any options, like you guys can see, I have contour. I have a Mickey Mouse one. And then I also have an activity analog. But if you want to add a new one, all you have to do is just click new right here. And then you're going to have the option to look at new watch faces, such as these ones right here. And you can choose which ones you want to add if you find them very cool there's tons of options to choose from so whatever you want to add if you just want to do the, this one right here you just click add and then you click view and now this can be your new apple watch face right here i can have the earth right here it's going to show me the weather right here i think this is a super cool one but like i said there's tons to choose from and you guys can also do this on your iphone if you have one like i said previously you guys can actually access all your apple watch features directly on an iphone if you have one and all you have to do is just go to this watch section which is located right here and then you're going to see we have all the features that you can access or change on your Apple Watch. As you can see, I have all my faces to choose from. I can add more if I want to. I have my notifications, my app view, my dock general, all the settings you think you would need on your Apple Watch. You can find it right here through your iPhone. It even gives you all the apps and ways to edit them directly through your iPhone. And all these apps are located on your Apple Watch. So you can edit these in any way. I'm going to be walking you guys through tons of different features you can use using your iPhone setting for your Apple Watch. So definitely check this out when you guys get the chance. I'm going to dive into some amazing features you guys can utilize with this watch app on your iPhone to utilize your Apple Watch even better. If you're still using old-fashioned, slow-charging, and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day. 
day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the links on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. As you guys can see, we are on my Apple Watch settings on my iPhone, and I wanna show you guys one specific cool feature for the Apple Watch or any smartwatch, and that's the app view section. So if we look at my Apple Watch right here, as you guys are gonna see, my apps are in this type of view, but you guys can change that if you guys feel like it's too crowded or a hassle to find these apps. And you can just go to your iPhone right here and just click on app view. And now you're gonna have the option to have the grid view like I just showed you guys, or the list view. So say we click list view right here, it's gonna change the orientation of these apps on your Apple Watch. So now if we go back to my Apple Watch after changing this app view, you guys are gonna see right when I click this, it's gonna show my apps like this opposed to the grid view. And this allows for an easier way to find them if you guys think the grid view is too confusing. So like I said, it can be a hassle trying to find your apps and scrolling through all of them on this large array of the grid view. So the list view makes it easier and more organized, but it's up to you, it's your preference. I prefer grid view, honestly, I think it looks cooler that way and that's why I do it. But if it's up to you, you guys can choose between list view and grid view. And this is one way you can access this feature on your iPhone through your Apple Watch, or you can do it on your Apple Watch settings just by using the watch itself. You don't have to use the iPhone, but since the iPhone's a bigger screen, it makes for an easier way to do this. So it's up to you whether you wanna use your iPhone or Apple Watch to change these settings. But I just wanna show you guys one of these features on the iPhone settings for your Apple Watch, which is the app view. So definitely check this out when you get the chance. Like I said, it's up to you which you prefer. And let's dive into some more great features on the settings for your Apple Watch. We also have the dock setting. So like I said, with the power button on your Apple Watch, if I hold this down, it's gonna take me to all of my recent apps that I've been on on my Apple Watch. But if you go back to the iPhone and click dock right here, you're gonna have the option to choose between recents or favorites. So if we click favorites, instead of when you click that power button, now all your favorite apps are gonna pop up opposed to the recent ones. So this is an easier way to access all your favorite apps, the ones you spend the most time on. Like I said, I have the recents on, but if you click that power button after changing it to favorites, you're gonna see all the favorite apps are gonna pop up on your Apple Watch opposed to the recent ones. I do recents because it allows me to clear them more easily and I wanna clear all the apps as fast as I can to save data and battery, but it's up to you. So definitely check out whether you want the recents or favorites on that dock using the power button, which is located right here on your Apple Watch and then you guys can figure out which works best for you as you spend more time utilizing your smartwatch. Another important feature to check out on your smartwatch and in this case the Apple Watch Series 7 is to locate the control center and that is super easy to do. All you have to do is just swipe up on your Apple Watch like this. And it's gonna take you to this options page where we have tons of different icons to choose from. And I'm gonna walk you guys through all of these. So first off, we have our Wi-Fi, which is right here. And you wanna make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi by typing in that password for your Wi-Fi so you guys can have internet when using your smartwatch or your iPhone or any product that you may have. Wi-Fi is an essential part of using the best of the abilities on your Apple Watch. And then next we have find your iPhone. So by clicking this button, it's gonna cause my iPhone to make a beeping noise so I can locate my phone in case I lost it and it's super easy to do. All I have to do is just click this right here and then you're going to hear my iPhone in the background. 
And once you hear that, you know your iPhone is found and you guys can look for it. It makes it super easy to find your iPhone. It is a super loud noise as you guys can hear. Next, we have our battery percentage, which is located right here. If we click on that, it's gonna show us how much battery we have left on our Apple Watch. As you can see, I have 95% remaining. And say you start to get low, you can always turn on this power reserve button right here. And by doing that, that'll reduce some of the strain while using your battery, and it'll help you save power in case you need your Apple Watch. So this is the battery. We're just gonna click done right here. It's gonna take us back to the Apple Watch's control center. We have our ringer right here. And as you can see, I have my ringer, or notifications turned off so this means when i receive a notification on my apple watch it's actually going to vibrate rather than make a noise out of the apple watch i prefer having this on i like to have the vibrate rather having the noise come on so this is up to you you guys can either have your notifications turned on or off I have mine off, so I'll just receive a vibration instead of a noise coming out of my Apple Watch. And then next we have theater mode. And what this does is by clicking this icon right here, it's gonna tell you what theater mode actually is. And essentially theater mode turns on silent mode and keeps your screen dark until you tap the screen or press the digital crown or side button. And this allows you to watch movies or be in a theater, any type of area where you're watching or listening to media. It'll allow you to have your iPhone or Apple Watch dim so you guys don't have any bright notifications pop up to distract the crowd or whoever you're with in case they wanna watch their movie or watch that media in silence. Next, we have our walkie-talkie icon, which is right here. And as you guys can see, if I click the walkie-talkie, say you have a friend or a colleague who has an Apple Watch and they're located near you, you guys can actually speak into your Apple Watch and use it as a walkie-talkie, opposed to having to call them or text text them on your iPhone or your phone. You guys can use this walkie-talkie just to speak to each other directly through this Apple Watch. I think it's super cool and it's kind of fun to use if your friend has an Apple Watch. So I definitely recommend checking out the walkie-talkie if you have any colleagues or friends you want to try that icon with. And then next we have our do not disturb mode. I'm sure most of you guys know what do not disturb is, but it's right here on our Apple Watch. And by clicking that, it's gonna allow you to have notifications turned off. So if you're working and you don't wanna procrastinate or receive any notifications that might be a distraction, you can just turn on do not disturb like this. And if you click on, you're gonna have multiple options to choose from. I'm gonna walk you guys through all of these, but we have do not disturb. We have a personal do not disturb mode, a work one, a sleep one. The sleep one's very cool. And I'm excited to show you guys that later on in the video. It's definitely one of the newest and coolest features for the Apple Watch Series 7. But overall, this is the Do Not Disturb section. If you guys don't want to get any distractions, I definitely recommend turning that on. We have our flashlight, which I think is super cool. As you know, to turn on your flashlight, you have to go to Control Center on your iPhone, but you can actually use your Apple Watch as a flashlight as well. And actually by clicking it, what's gonna happen is your iPhone's gonna become a white screen, which actually acts as a very good flashlight. Let me show you guys how this works right now. By clicking it, you're gonna see that this white screen pops up and you guys can actually use that to navigate through the dark if you guys need to. As you can see, it's super bright and it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the dark so you don't need to pull out your phone. So I definitely recommend trying that out when you guys get the chance. I'm gonna go back to the control center right here and that was the flashlight. Next we have airplane mode. I'm sure most of you know what airplane mode is. All you have to do is just turn this on when you're in an airplane so you guys don't interfere with the connection or the internet on the airplane as it's taking off. So definitely turn that on when you're on an airplane. I'm sure most of you guys know how to use that function on your Apple Watch and your iPhone, but I just wanted to run it by you guys. Then next we have our water lock. And I'm sure most of you are aware if you have an Apple Watch, you can actually swim in deep water and go underwater with your Apple Watch and it will not break. It's very waterproof. But the water lock icon comes very well in handy when you guys swim in any water or go underwater with your Apple Watch. You wanna make sure there's no water left behind in your Apple Watch after you're done swimming. So by turning on water lock, it's actually gonna vibrate your Apple Watch and remove any excess water that was trapped inside your Apple Watch. So by clicking it, you guys are gonna see, it's gonna start to shake my Apple Watch like this, if, especially if I turn down the digital crown, you're gonna see it's gonna eject that water like this. You're gonna hear a vibrate coming out of your Apple Watch to ensure that all of it's getting out of there. And then once that's done, you guys can bet that all your water is gonna be removed from that Apple Watch. Because as you guys know, you can swim with your Apple Watch. It's completely waterproof. Just to be better safe than sorry, you definitely wanna have all that excess water removed out of that watch. So definitely turn that on after you guys do a deep dive in any water or go swimming. 
it comes in handy if you don't want to break your Apple Watch, even though I doubt it will. Next, we have our audio tab on this control center right here. So if we click on this, it's going to show you your audio and what it's connected to. As you can see, the audio is connected to your Apple Watch right now. But as you can see, I have all my other audio devices right here. They're mostly AirPods. So if I want to connect my audio on my Apple Watch to any of my AirPods, all I have to do is just click my AirPods if they're located near me at the time. And by doing this, whenever I listen to music or any audio on my Apple Watch, it's going to come through my earphones that I have connected on my Apple Watch. So if I wanted to connect my AirPods right here, I'd click that and then any music I'd listen to, you'd hear it through your AirPods and not your Apple Watch. But like I said, I'm on an Apple Watch right now. So any noises that I hear, any media that I listen to, it's gonna come directly out of my Apple Watch. But like I said, this is up to you. You guys can choose which audio devices you wanna hear your Apple Watch through. But this is the audio section on the control center in your Apple Watch. Then lastly, we have this hearing icon right here. And by clicking that, you guys are gonna see we just have the headphone volume right here. I don't have any headphones connected, but if I did, I'd be able to alter that volume right here by just swiping the left or right. But as you guys know, and as I explained, I don't have any audio or earphones connected to my Apple Watch if, right now, but if I did, you guys can just turn up and edit that volume if you guys need to. So these are all the control center features I just showed you guys. Feel free to check them out. Like I said, all you have to do is just swipe up on your face like this and you're gonna have access to all of these. You can also edit them by just clicking edit right here and you're gonna be able to choose which ones you wanna delete from your control center. And then you can actually click more right here and you can add this one right here. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna add this one, but this is one way to edit that control center. And like I said, definitely check out the control center when you set up your smartwatch so you guys can use your smartwatch like a complete pro. I also wanted to mention to you guys that when you receive a notification on your iPhone, you will also receive that notification on your Apple Watch and it's super easy to locate where those notifications go on your Apple Watch. So when I receive a notification, usually you'll see a red dot at the top of the Apple Watch's face, but since I don't have any notification right here, you won't see that red dot, but say I did, all you'd have to do is just scroll down like this and you'd see the notification that you received on your iPhone now on your Apple Watch. As you can see, that I have no notifications, but if I did, like I said, you'd see a red dot right here, and that would notify you that there's a notification for you to check out either on your Apple Watch and on your iPhone. And just by clicking that, it'll take you directly to that notification on your Apple Watch if that app that to receive the notification is compatible with your Apple Watch. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys in case you forgot or if you weren't sure what that red notifications button meant. But that's one way you guys can access your notifications on your Apple Watch just by scrolling down like that. The Apple Watch Series 7 actually does a great job at tracking your sleep for overall health and well-being because as we know, sleep is very important. And this Apple Watch does a great job at tracking that and allowing you to improve on your sleep overall. And this is the sleep app right here. If we click on this, you're going to see I already have a schedule for my bedtime and wake up from 12 a.m. to 7.45. So this is my schedule right now. But if we click full schedule right here, you guys are going to see a little more information about that. So I have my sleep schedule every day from 12 a.m. to 7.45. And it also gives me my sleep goal of seven hours. And I can also add a schedule if I want. So I can choose my days, my wake up time, what time I want my alarm to go off in the morning. And if you sleep with your Apple Watch on, by that time when the alarm goes off, your Apple Watch will vibrate and that'll act as your alarm to wake you up, opposed to having the noise come out of your iPhone. So I definitely recommend it. It actually does a great job at waking up. It's a strong vibration. So this is overall a great app to stay on top of your sleep and improve. It's gonna show you what metrics and how many hours you're sleeping a day. So I definitely recommend using that data to improve on your sleep and well-being. Also on top of this, when it's time to go to bed, your Apple Watch and your iPhone will also let you know that it's time to go to bed and your iPhone screen and Apple Watch screen will actually turn off so you guys don't have to go on your phone and won't be distracted with that. So overall, this prevents you guys from staying up too late, staring at your phone for too long. So I definitely think it's worth checking out if you guys want to improve on your sleep and well-being. As I've already explained to you guys, the Apple Watch does a great job at improving your health and getting a great night's sleep is one way to do that. So I definitely recommend checking out the sleep app when you get the chance on your Apple Watch Series 7. I know I've showed you guys a lot of apps and a lot of ways to get more acquainted with your smartwatch or your Apple Watch Series 7, but I do recommend checking out the Tips app, which is located right here on your Apple Watch Series 7. And by doing this, you guys are going to get a better idea of how to use your Apple Watch. You guys are going to learn some more tips and tricks. This is going to allow you to have a better experience with your Apple Watch and overall become an expert and pro while doing so. So I definitely recommend checking out this Tips app. We have a welcome. We have a what's 
new. We have a health and fitness tip section. We even have a customize your Apple Watch section in this tips app. So definitely check this out when you guys get the chance. This is going to allow you to become an absolute pro while using your Apple Watch. So definitely check this out on your Apple Watch when you guys get the chance. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. These were the first things to do with your brand new Apple Watch. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. The link for this website is going to be in the description of this video, so check it out as soon as you're done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.